okay hi everyone so this is my hair and it has been in this protective style now for about a week and the thing about Shibe, why people don't like using it so much is because it leaves residue in your hair and I found out that by using it as a spritz it doesn't leave that residue <music> To make this shea spritz, you're going to need your penny O's or if you have a cheesecloth, you can use a cheesecloth. So what you want to do is you just want to cut a little bit of it off to get one tablespoon of um, shea So next, because I don't want the shea to come out, I'm going to get a string and just tie that away. So after you've tied up your shibe, we want to put this into hot water and you're going to infuse this for some time. Some people infuse it for a day, some people infuse it for two days, it is up to you. But let's infuse it for a day. So as you can see our shibe has finished infusing for the set amount of time. So all I do is just squeeze out the water. Now the only thing that I'm putting in this bottle for my recipe is just the water and the shibe and that's it uh, other people have added other things you can infuse it in aloe vera juice and that will also give it more moisture you can add oils to it and other things of that sort but remember when you add oils in it you will have to add a preservatives or add some form of something to help preserve it if you're going to use it for a long time so this is my shibe mix you can see all you have here is just infused shibe there's no residue nothing in it so we're just gonna get this and we're pretty much gonna do the lock method you can also do the LCO method so all I do is just take the shibe and I'm just gonna spray it to my hair okay and with this it's gonna fall on my scalp don't worry it's okay because there's no residue so you're not gonna get flakes it actually feels good on the scalp also because all you are getting is just the infused shibe and I'm spritzing it on the ends of my hair very generously and you don't have to store this in the fridge because of course it's just a liquid it's not going to grow anything um, I try to make enough that will last me just for five days if you live in a very humid environment and you feel you need to store it in the fridge you can do so but once I've finished putting it in my hair I've squeezed it in and this I can also use for my children because I won't be worried about them getting residue or things of that sort. So after squeezing it in my hair, I'm going to get my oil mix. And this is the easiest way that I find. I'm just going to put the oil and just massage everything into my scalp and apply it to my hair and to the length of my hair. After that, I'll get my moisturizer and the moisturizer that we've been using all this week and the last week has been the Jamaican Mango and Lime Cocoa Nut Butter Cream. Information and details of everything that we used will be in the description area and I'm going to squeeze that to my hair, to the length of my hair and all around. So lastly, I want to seal the ends of my hair because the ends of your hair is where length retention comes from and I'll be using the Jamaican black castor oil pure butter this is the pure butter so you see all this stuff that I'm using uh, people will put it into the water but I don't have a preservative in hand right now so that's why I'm not putting everything into that bottle spray bottle so I'm concentrating this to the ends of my hair. If you have high porosity hair, you can concentrate it through the length of your hair because it will help you retain that moisture that is lost when you are high porosity. But I am low medium, so this is quite heavy for the full length of my hair. And lastly, I take some shibe, put it to my palm. I'm going to make sure I get it to my edges. And my edges are doing quite nicely. So I get to my edges and I'm going to take some of that Jamaican black castor butter and I'm going to apply this also to my edges like this. So I'm going to massage my edges 
and this is one way you can help grow your edges and shebe is really good because shebe helps with moisture it also helps with strengthening your hair it has so many good good ingredients and if you want to know more about shebe you can click um, our shebe link that will be in the description area or um, just go to our website and search for discovering natural shebe on youtube thank you so much for watching i hope this helped you out so no need to have shebe residue in your hair and thank you to our wonderful facebook group who has given us this recipe i appreciate you guys and you guys if you don't join our facebook group make sure you join up join us and we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye